Flare Gun vs Assault Rifle. The results might shock you. Now in this video we're going to be breaking down which weapon is better, the Flare Gun or the Assault Rifle, and we're doing this with some real world testing and scenarios. Now you might think perhaps the Assault Rifle might be better at range, or you might think maybe the Flare Gun's better at close combat, well we're going to prove all these and put these to the test. We're also going to have a look at the advantages of the new Flare Gun weapon and just what it possesses in a combat scenario. Now the first test is going to be with inside an interior. We have got four players armed with Flare Guns and we've got four players armed with assault rifles. Previously we did some testing to see which players were the better shots and we did our best to mix them up so we've got a good variety of skills on both sides. So let's initiate the test and begin the Halloween Flare War. Let us know if you go down. Already down. Is that a flare gun down? A rifle person went down. Rifle person down. Gotta be careful. Oh, flare gun went for a oh, dash. Oh! Not to that. That I'm the only one. Yeah, it should be a one for two of you. It should be four people. Oh, they're ganging up on this rifleman in the hallway now. It's only a matter of time. Oh, <laughs> no, why? Yeah. Why do the flare guns have to be so good? Now after this test we repeated this one a number of times and the flare gun won in various different scenarios and I think the flare gun's got two things going for it that are very advantageous. Firstly it's massive high damage, one shot and you are dead and then secondly how it recoils or ricochets off various different walls and then can bounce into a player and kill them as well. So it's super lethal in close quarters but what about on an open plane? Will the assault rifles be able to claw it back? I've Four, three, two, one, let it begin. Alright guys, play distance, because we can see their flares coming. They can't really see our bullets. Okay, I'm looking for casualties. The, the flares are trying to close the ground. Well, we're gonna end up running all the way back around Yeah, well, you can keep running. I've been it. I'm dead. Hold on, is, is, are the flares overwhelming the assault rifles in the open? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Artillery. Oh, there. These rifles are rubbish. I think we should be allowed to use the rifles. Yeah, exactly. We should have the better ones. Right, well, we'll give you the better ones. Well, aren't rapid. <laughs> I think... I mean, maybe we need an auto rifle. flare gun. No, no, no. <laughs> There's just one left. There we <laughs> go. I can't believe it, the flare gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Well, the, like I'm, down I said to, I'm down to 35 health, but yeah. Well, like I said earlier, it's it's the intensity. When you when someone sees all those flares flying at them, their, their mindset kind of panics. Right. Assault Riflers, arm yourself with whatever Assault Rifle you want. Now so far these results have been quite shocking. The Flare Gun has overwhelmed the players in both scenarios so far. So this time we're trying to give the Assault Rifles a bit of an edge and we've let the players pick whichever variant of it they want. So they can have the Elite, they can have the Automatic, they can have the Marksman if they want and they've got a mix of them in this scenario, whichever one they feel comfortable using. So let's see if this will turn the tide. Some of you got Rapid and some of you got Elite. Okay, so you've got the whichever rifle you prefer you've got. Okay, yeah. so let's begin in three, two, one, and go. I don't know about this time. They look like they know what they're doing as well, the riflemen. Hang up on them. Focus fire. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Oh, that's Oops. one assault rifleman <laughs> down. Oh, you nearly shot your own man then with the flare. You hit the camera with the flare. <laughs> oh, flares. You were doing so well, flares. No, you flare people shot each other. <laughs> flare person. To, who's that? No, it's a turn around. You've just murdered your own. <laughs> He's an army of one. Oh, no. There's one assault yeah, rifle left. left. Oh, come on, come on, prove it right for the assault rifles. There's a bit of crossfire going on here as well. Come on, assault rifle. Oh, <laughs> no, oh, no. You get one by the flares how, again. How man. low did I get Thrax and Zorth? I need to know. <laughs> no, both fairly hit me. Like, you got me 71. You got me I, got so many, I got so many hit markers on the both of you. So the results are in. 
and it looks like flare guns win hands down. But I think we need to investigate them in this video a little bit further, have a look at the other possibilities that the flare guns have, and also have a look at what advantages assault rifles still hold over them. Now there is another fact about the flare gun that might just shock you, and it's its ability to transfer kinetic energy. Yes, kinetic energy. So we can fire this at a block, and the transfer of energy will send that block flying. Now if we harness this and launch that block then into, say, an engineer, we can knock them out cold. So there's quite a lot of capabilities here with the transfer of energy. Also, if we fire this directly at an engineer and someone standing behind them, the engineer's momentum will continue and hit into them, knocking them out. And I've had weird mixed success here with firing one engineer into another and knocking out three or four at the same time like Skittles. So this weapon is seriously dangerous. Now, another big area of space engineers comes in terms of taking turrets out. And we use the assault rifle to eliminate turrets quite quickly. So we're going to see if the flare gun has any use in this department. So first of all, we can shoot our assault rifle from quite some range without any drop or calculation. So that's going to be a distinct advantage. But if we get close, let's see how quickly we can eliminate one of these turrets. So there we go. Turret is out of the action. Let's see if we can eliminate one with the flare gun. It might be a good idea as well to grab the welder out for this and just see how much damage we are doing per shot. So we've done 1% damage. So let's fire a similar amount of shots. Okay. So let's see if the damage is totally random. So we are taking the health down, but remember with the flare gun, we would have to arc these shots in. We wouldn't have the same sort of distance and range as we did before with the assault rifle. So yeah, it's taken it down, but the assault rifle is still a strong leader in this area, so I wouldn't panic and just dump the assault rifle completely for combat in general. Now for this next test, we've got ourselves a Gatling gun turret here, and we know Gatling gun turrets attempt to shoot at missiles like that Gatling turret just did there. Now do they attempt to shoot at flares? Let's find out. So you can see, yes, a flare will distract a Gatling gun turret, and if we send a few of these up, it will continue to distract them. But the issue is here is not many people have this setting turned on. That's target rocket. So the moment we turn the target rocket settings off, you can see that flares won't distract it. And most players don't have target rockets turned on anyway. So something to bear in mind there. So for our next little experiment, we've jumped up to space. And I want to show you how the flare velocity works. So if we start to accelerate now, we're going to move ourselves up to 100 meters a second. And we'll fire the flare sideways there is not really an issue at all but notice how the flare stops and then accelerates forward now this becomes an issue when we're accelerating forward so if we're accelerating forward and we fire our flare well we run into our own flare and it seems like the flare velocity starts at zero and then accelerates so you do yourself in so just bear that in mind if you're battling with a flare at high speed now, if you feel I've delivered a nice little comparison here between the assault rifle and the flare gun, highlighting their strengths and weaknesses, as well as showing you some of the bonus new features of the flare gun, hit that like button. It'd be much appreciated. On top of that, if you feel that I missed anything, get down in the comment section and let me know what I need to test next. Talking about testing next, though, I let the players collect rocket launchers and flare guns. And, well, the battle that happened might possibly be the new Space Engineers meta. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Set one. Up, oh, he's got me as well. <clears throat> the rocket. That was, that was a the flare rocket gun, by the way. Heat left. That's it. That's all that's left in the back. I hate that. I mean, are you ready, ready, Vaughn? Yep, let's pick some uh, oh. Oh. Oh, oh, who was that? that rocket hit off you the back. Thank all you, right, I'm ready. All right, I'm out, I'm out back. I'm on. It's by now. Out back. Out back. Now that was oh, a collision. Yeah. <laughs> One, free for all, begin. All oh, these jetpacks going everywhere. Awkward moment when they're both reloading at each other. Ah. <laughs> How many rounds was that? Oh, you two fired at each other. Oh, oh, <laughs> that was great. <laughs> you shot each. You thought you shot each other, but someone came from the side and just shot you in the head. <laughs>